Thomas Baldrick here at ASCO 2015 on Collegy TV. Happy to have with us Dr. David Curro from Flinders University in Sydney, Australia. Thank you, sir, for coming all the way here to talk to us. Great to be here. Let's talk about this Romana 3 study. Um, what did you do and why? Cachexia is a really wicked problem for all of us in oncology and in lots of other areas of medicine. It involves the loss of lean body mass, it involves loss of appetite, it involves loss of function, and has a whole lot of metabolic derangements. The anamorlin uh, uh, medication is a ghrelin agonist, and so it's able to reverse some of that uh, catabolism of, of protein, it's able to induce some anabolism, and so what we're seeing in this study is the first ghrelin agonist in the world um, used in clinical trials and demonstrating an improvement in lean body mass, an improvement in fatigue, an improvement in anorexia in people with advanced non-small cell lung cancer. Okay, so how did you go about doing this? So there are two very large studies that have been done uh, in multiple sites across the world, uh, each with more than 480 participants. Double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized trial in people with stage 3 or 4 non-resectable, non-small cell lung cancer, reasonable levels of function, still allowed to be on treatment, so the majority of them were still getting chemotherapy. And uh, over a 12-week period, we saw an increase in lean body mass, an increase in total body mass, an increase in fat mass in the intervention groups. Together with that, really importantly, from a patient's perspective, we saw an improvement in the anorexia cachexia domains of the functional assessment of anorexia cachexia therapy and also in the domains relevant in the uh, uh, functional assessment of chronic illness therapy fatigue. So from a patient's point of view, they were putting on weight, they were getting more energy, they were um, doing much better than the placebo arm. From a physician standpoint, what did you find that stands out most? Well, cachexia has been something where, to date, we've only been able to treat it by reversing the underlying cause, i.e. the cancer. This is the first time that we've had something beyond glucocorticoids, beyond progestational agents, that allows a physician to prescribe something that actually improves lean body mass. Glucocorticoids, progestational agents have increased edema, uh, they've increased fat mass, but this is actually getting muscle back onto people who are losing muscle quickly because of their cancer. How will you continue to develop this work? So beyond the first 12 weeks, there was a, 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 an extension study of another 12 weeks. We saw the benefits uh, which were accrued very early on in, in starting the medication over that entire period of time. It was work that, it, it was a medication that was well tolerated by, by patients. It had very few significant uh, side effects. And so the, the work is really to continue to understand how to best place this in the clinical care of people with advanced cancer. Thank you, mate. Congratulations on your success. We wish you the best. Have a great day. You too.